Okay, good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, April 3rd. We have Julie Patterson and Rhonda with us this morning. So let's start out. Do either of you guys have any victories to share? Hmm, I've had a lot of conversations, a lot of conversations hey. around the Forever Pack. So I'm just That's waiting a for a really good victory. I'm trying to get people to take bites, though. <laughs> okay, but that's still, I mean, it's all about being in action. So that's a really great victory. Yeah. What yeah. kind of feedback are you getting? Uh, you know, people are, the people I've been talking to are very interested. It's just they're not, they're like, oh, yeah, I just need to pay for it, or I just need to do this, or and it's like, oh, come on. So I follow up, and I'm just waiting, you know. It's one of those things. <laughs> okay. Um. I did not realize, I'm going to hit you in a second, Rhonda. I was talking with Lisa last night, which I, we hadn't talked in like a month because we kept pushing off our coaching calls. And we were, one of the topics I want to talk about is what sampling events look like with this forever pack. And, um, and I was asking her, you know, what are you going to do? Because I tried to do one. Well, I did do one on Sunday at Amanda's and I think yeah. 20 minutes is a really long time to sit and watch a movie at a live event. So she was saying, there is an ISA movie under isamovie.com that's three minutes long with telomere and aging. So oh. I, have, I have not gone back to look for it yet, but for sure I would use that like as a teaser or a follow-up. So what I was thinking as you were saying this is maybe to remind them that would be a really great follow-up. And then Jillian, the nutritionist with Isagenix, has that shake video on Vimeo, and she sent me the link for that in a message. So I'll put the link for that in comments of this recording. But okay. she was talking about how she, what she thinks she's gonna do, because she hasn't had one yet, is she thinks instead of showing the Forever Pack video, of showing the three minute telomere and aging video and the two minute shake video. Oh so yeah, that's a good I idea. Go back and look yeah, that, that sounds good. Yeah, but you know, I think tools like that may be a great resource for a follow up just to kind of jog their memory of, oh yeah, that is really important yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so how about you, Rhonda? What kind of victories? Um, I had a call last night with a new um, enrollment on the Forever Pack just to walk her through her auto ship because this was the first one. Okay. And she was just a rock star. She already had had been in and looked around, had four canisters of shakes in her order, plus the accelerator and hydrate. So she did wow. up her basket. Was so that was encouraging was because it is. Okay. It is. Excellent. And she's getting along great and feeling really good. So I love that it. was that was a victory. Mm -hmm. And did she awesome. have any non scale or scale victories to share with you at that point? Um, she said that she's lost about four to five pounds, but like I said, didn't have a whole lot to lose anyway. But she was like, That's that's good, but my stomach feels so much better. And and she said they had company over the weekend. She said she's been doing two shakes a day. Her husband has been doing one. Right. But they had company over the weekend, so she only got in one because she was cooking for them and all this right. stuff. But anyway, she said when they left, they both looked at each other and was like, oh, my God, I've got to get back on the shakes. I feel oh. so much better when I'm having the shakes. So they they could tell the difference. So that Yay. was encouraging. I love yeah. that. So what is your next step with her? Um, we're just, she's, she's interested in sharing, but she wants her own story first. She's, she, you know, like we all do when we start out, we feel like we have to know everything and so <laughs> you don't really have I, to know everything. No, but. No, so here's what I'm going to share with you guys. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about, and I sent both of this, you guys. So Julie, I totally understood that you couldn't come Monday because I would have gone to hold a brand new baby too. Uh, <laughs> so we had our team meeting Monday and we had four of a show. And um, I think one of the best victories of Monday was that, um, I don't know, do you know Christy Pelkey, Julie? The, um, uh, yeah, we're friends on Facebook. Okay. 
Okay, so she has been enrolled for two years, had great success early on. She was on my team with Taste with Simple as well. And hers was all about depression and gut health and energy and a little bit of weight loss. And then she started having some health issues last fall and she had some trauma in her family and she kind of stepped away. And then she started having all these things like reflux and gut issues. And she started going to the doctors and listening to them. And they put her on all of these medications, which were then giving her even worse side effects. And she went down this dark rabbit hole. I kind of kept reaching out to her because I could tell from her posts she wasn't in a good place. Wouldn't get back to me, wouldn't get back to me. At Christmas, she finally got back to me, and I offered her, I'm like, I'm going to bring you some Ionics packets. I'm going to bring you a couple shake packets. I want you to get back to try this to see if this is going to help. Because everything she was talking about is what our shakes address. And she finally, like, truly came back at the end of January. And so to hear her talk Monday night, she was like, I will never do that again. I, I can't believe how far I strayed and how awful I felt. And once I start, got back and, you know, came back to the trueness of this, I, I started feeling better immediately. So I was so glad to hear that. And sadly, we've seen that with some other team members where they have to step away, realize how bad they felt, and then come back. And she said for her, she was, it's almost like she felt worse than she did before she started the program. Like it was amplified. And, um, and so that was really great to hear her notice the difference, feel the difference, be back on the system and be back to showing up to events. So that made me really excited. Um, and I, so I sent both of you guys, and I know you guys, neither one of you are on screen to see this, but I sent you guys the, um, and I'm saying this too for the people watching this on the recording, because what I did is I first sent it to out of state people. And then I went back and sent it to leaders who couldn't come Monday night, because what I wanted to really talk about was a couple of things. One is participation. I want to increase our team energy and increase team participation. And so I had a congratulations board up and I congratulated people who came to Super Saturday people who attended in our team weight loss challenge because that ended on Monday, uh, which Rhonda, don't forget to give me your end results. Um, yeah, I will. So then I also congratulated Amanda Campbell because she promoted two consultants as well. And so the other thing I brought up with participation was reminding people the importance of the tools we have with Isobody Challenge and Healthy Mind and Body that I think both of those are way underutilized a lot of the time, but right now I think it's even lower. So I think it's important for us as leaders to come back to our team, whether we ask them individually if they're in either of those or hold your own mini team challenge with your team, because Isogenics talks about the success trajectory for people if they're on either or both of these programs increases by 80%. Plus, we know if they're in the Ice of Body Challenge, they have to be at 125 BV. And stats have also come out saying that people who are in an Ice of Body Challenge, their, their carts are bigger. So yeah. I think that's another step, Rhonda, that, and for all of us who are embracing this Forever Pack, because the Forever Pack is only 108 or 103, I forget what it is, BV, I think it's 108, um, yeah. to make sure we're... Um, honing in on targeted solutions. So I think when you're having those first couple of phone calls, even the first couple of months, you know, you're doing great. Okay, are there any other targeted solutions I can help you with? You know, do you work out? Do you need a pre and post workout line? Do you use essential oils? Do you have gut issues? You know, and see if we can help increase your order basket. And then also make sure when we're walking them through the back office to introduce Healthy Mind and Body and Ice, Ice and Body Challenge. Okay. So do you guys do that already? Yeah. Yeah, I tell them about it. So I think somehow we need to wrap back around with our team and, and bring it to their attention again, you know, and bring them up as posts on, on Facebook as well. 
and it may not be just telling them about it, but also when we're, like you said, walking them through their back office to show them exactly where they can go to sign up for it, what, you know, what they need to do, what it entails. Right. And that's what I do try and do when I am walking them through the back office. So great point. Right. Okay. And then um, what we talked about next, and I actually had done um, a Facebook Live about it, I think on Monday, is that this is that time of year that I think we can really capitalize um, because winter is finally in the rear view mirror. Like, I think we're finally done with snow. And, you know, like today, so mad, but. <laughs> we're, we're going to say we're done with snow. But like, today's a perfect example in Illinois. It's sunny, it feels spring, the birds are chirping, it's gorgeous. And people are going to start hyperventilating when they think about pulling out swimsuits and shorts or trying on theirs from last year and thinking, oh crap, they don't fit anymore. So I think doing posts around that and really um, getting people's attention that we have a solution, we, we have the gap fillers, we can help you feel comfortable in your own skin. I think this month and next month really focusing on hey summer's coming are you hijacked from your wardrobe you know do you dread going into your closets to try on clothes or into a dressing room so that i think is a really good angle to focus on right now because the layers are shedding do you guys have any other ideas of how to focus on that no i think that that's a great idea is talking <laughs> a thought just went through my head is uh, you're already going to be pasty. Do you want to look out of shape in your bathing suit? <laughs> oh, that's a really good one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Why that's good. <laughs> yeah. And, and bring the humor out, you know, in the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. So, awesome. yeah, no, that's I got going through my head. <laughs> okay. So I want to kind of come back to what you were talking about, Rhonda, with, gosh, I can't remember what her name was, who we talked to. Cleo? Uh huh. Okay, so coming back to Cleo, the other thing that I handed out, and I don't remember if I actually gave the attachments to you guys in the email or not, but in the meeting on Monday, I had two sets of scripting because what we focused on Monday was the forever pack. So we talked about what we just talked about, and then we switched to the forever pack. So what I did is on, and I'll have you guys, and I'll put these page numbers in the notes as well. So if you go to isogenicsbusiness.com and you pull up the ISO Life Success Plan and they have that say, share, do section in there, when you pull it up on the computer, it's pages 25 and 26 that gives you the scripting from Isogenics. And I reminded people that you want to edit it and tailor it to make it sound like it's coming out of your mouth, especially since a lot of us have mutual friends. We don't all want the exact same posts coming out with the exact same words. So you want to, you know, make it personal to you that there's options for scripts on two pages. And, um, and I said, and or if you're following the forever pack in the playbook, and I did not print the whole playbook, but I printed pages three and four and six and seven because page three is the first exposure like when you're writing your first story um and then page four is someone who's asked what you're doing or responded to a post page six is for current and former associates and page seven um, a current associate who's interested in the opportunity and may or may not have an auto ship. So I think this like is a really great next step in talking with our newer people, whether they came in on a system or a 30 day, I mean a forever pack or a 30 day is, and I'm going to give an example. So Amanda had her sip and sample on Sunday. She had two people come an hour apart from each other. So I kind of had to like start all over with the second person, which was fine. Oh. But the first girl who came is actually a girl who I went to grade school with and she's two years younger than me. Hadn't seen her in years. We didn't really hang out, but we knew each other. 
Ironically, she was in Tastefully Simple as well, but she kind of came in as I was leaving, so that was kind of funny. But um, she did enroll, and this was what was really hard. And so I think this is what we have to work on if we're helping, and I'm going to use the example. So say, Julie, you're going to help Debbie host a sip and sample. I am kicking myself that I didn't do enough prepping or training with Amanda on what to expect and how we're going to run the sip and sample ahead of time. And okay. I was trying to stay on target with the forever pack. Her husband's bringing up cleansing and she's bringing up stuff. And, uh. and, and I packed folders for the forever pack. Like to me, it was a big cluster of an event. I was mentally not there because I was still coming off of this painting and stripping of wallpaper. I grabbed folders that I thought were the forever pack folders and they were my old folders with the 30 day system starting with the ultimate pack. Okay. And, and so she's signing up this girl, Michelle, she enrolled her at 97 BB. I didn't catch hey. it until yesterday. Ugh. So I was like, oh, come on. And Joe, her husband, is 25 BV from her officially being a consultant. So that was bad on me that I didn't set the expectation ahead of time. And I don't feel I prepped her enough. And part of it also was I've never done one of these Forever Pack parties. So I kind of didn't know what to expect and what avenue to take. So right. I, I'm really trying to tweak these out. However, the good thing that's come about through this is Michelle, the new girl, is super excited. And between Monday and today, Monday. we have these three-way thread po uh, Facebook messages going on. And she's trying to compare the Tasteless Simple in here. I'm like, she's like, so where do I get a catalog to give to people? I'm like, no, 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 that's not how we do it with this. And why are there two legs? So I'm like, can we actually talk? So we're going to talk at one o'clock. Okay, like, good. She's super excited. And she has a 19 year old tried to get pregnant for eight years and has triplet girls. Oh so, my gosh. I know. So she's <laughs> like, I can't go back. They're only like eight or nine. So she's like, oh. I can't go back to work with having triplet girls home, but she's not making money with Tastefully Simple either. So I said, I may have an option that could totally fit that. And so I sent her scripting in one of those messages. I actually just took screenshots while I was online and sent her the screenshots. And so I think, I think going back, we've been missing the boat of catching that excitement early on. So what I'm going with this, Rhonda, is I think that Chloe, Cleo already has somewhat of a story to share. Like she's already noticed the difference when she stepped back from a weekend and she felt different. And so right. maybe something as simple as pulling some of these scripts either off the playbook or off of the ISO life book and say, you know, you know, Hey, since you're off to such a strong start, I'd love to help you write your first story to share with friends, whether she sends that in a text or does it in a Facebook post. But I don't want us to get in that habit of waiting too long because I do think the excitement is highest at the beginning. And I think that's something I've failed to do and I need to get better at building on that excitement right away. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's true. So I just wanted to remind you guys like where these scripts are and how much we can use them with both our new people and our seasons people. And so if you guys, you know, I don't know if you want to do your own team meeting or do a Zoom conference call, but be like, you know, hey, this is what we talked about. And I want to make sure you guys are aware of this. And whether you send the attachment in an email or, you know, mail them hard copies or whatever, I think these are such great resources because, again, we don't have to come up with the scripting. They've done it for us in two different ways. Right. So what kind of mm -hmm. thoughts do you guys have around this as you're hearing it? Well, I like the idea of, you know, sharing that with my team because I'm not sure how on board they are with scripting and things like that. Do you know what I mean? Right. And um, that's where I think not enough people know what to do that we need to right. backtrack and remember they don't know what to do and we need to give them those resources. 
Right. So yeah, I, you know, you just take for granted that they've been on the products and they know what they're talking about, but I guess they don't really, <laughs> cause I didn't know, you know? Right. So right. yeah, it's just being more aware of what your team does and doesn't know and where they're at and things like that. So yeah, I agree with you there. And then with the new people that are joining, um, just, I think making them aware of it right away of what to say when they're ready to, you know, when it's time to share is even just supplying them with those scripts almost right away because they're going to, because you're going to tell them you're going to want to share your results or people are going to be asking. Yep. So yep. just, you know, equip them with the tools immediately. Do you yes. know what I mean? Yeah, like, you're setting the expectation with them. Right. So I think that's kind of the direction I'm going to go is, is providing them with the scripting information immediately. You know, yep. because people are going to ask, like yep. they always do. And you just, even if they don't know what they're talking about, they have that in front of them to, to say it for them. I agree completely. Yeah. So. And the Forever Pack playbook has some really great scripting for all kinds of different situations. And I've actually used it, you know, tweaked a little, a little bit to, you know, my own wording, but it gives me that starting point. Yeah. Yeah, and especially yeah. these first two on here where it's the person who hasn't looked at isogenics before of I'm so grateful for something that's come into my life that's been such a tremendous impact on my health and energy. I mean, Cleo could easily do that, you know. Right. Is a right. perfect scripting for her, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. So I just want to make sure we're being intentional about this because obviously the they share is where we need to keep building as well and so let's use these tools and i love that we have two different sets of tools you know and when we talked about the forever pack monday i'm like it's an option you can still do packs but this is an option and then the other option is the two sets of scripting to go with it okay the other thing I'm going to chat with you guys briefly about before we run out of time, and then I'll open it up if you guys have anything you want to talk about, is something I've been doing a lot of last night. And again, it kind of comes back to what you were saying, Julie, where we think people out there know what they're doing, don't know what they're, or, you know, like, especially people who've been on isogenics for a long time and or been a consultant for a long time. So I was going down and looking through some team members, um, like their downlines. So I went to the view my team and I started on Randy's um, thing. And so then I pick a leader and then I was looking to see like, who did they have as consultants that aren't consultants anymore? And I'm specifically honing in on some leaders who've stepped back and aren't leading or aren't posturing leadership right now. We'll call it that. Mm -hmm. um, that I'm trying to pick up the slack one to make sure people know that I am available to help coach them as well, especially since their leader has stepped back. But what was so eye-opening to me, totally eye-opening to me, you guys, I had three people, again, seasoned consultants that were between 20 and 30 BV away from their account cycling. And uh. one of them, one of them is a person where he has probably eight to 10 people under him that are ordering and they're right, left, right, left. So it's not like they're uneven. He was like 50 BV away on his personal account and he had people go into town under him. Another account, oh. this person was 28 BV. Her daughter is, and she had like three people on the left. One person that was a team member that had like 78 BV. So she was 22 BV away from being a consultant and her daughter was on that side that she needed the 22 BV on. So we were messaging cause I didn't have her phone number. And then she finally, I said, Hey, call me if you can. And she called me and she's like, Oh, but she doesn't like the shakes. I go, I don't care. I'm like, Lori, you have 300 BV in your account. I don't care if she likes the shakes or not. You just need her information. Your account, you want to keep at 125 and put everything else under her to make sure that you're cycling. So she's like, well, how many times did I cycle? So I pulled up her account, looked at her rolling BV. I said, well, kudos to you. You kept current with 100 BV every 30 days. She's going to cycle seven times. Wow. Oh, gosh. Again, these are seasoned <sighs> consultants. 
So it was a yeah. huge wake up call to me last night that, you know, Julie, you're so new, you may not be in this position yet, but I know Rhonda, you are because you've been around for a while. We have leaders out there. So I'm going to encourage you to dig down and look at not just your people, but hit the plus button under them. And again, mm -hmm. I must have messaged at least five people that were within 30 BV away from being active recycling and then messaged another five people saying, you know, hey, I just want to introduce myself. I want to remind you that I'm an additional resource for any help I can provide. Um, you know, let me know. And, and I ended it with, I find great joy in helping people get their products paid for. Who doesn't love free groceries? I'd love to help you if that interests you. You know, so I wasn't trying to bash their sponsor who maybe isn't doing as much leadership activity right now, but I wanted to come out to them saying, Hey, I'm here and let me help you get your products paid for because there were so many people that had two to 300 BV and one account. So I think it, hmm. it pays mm -hmm. in dividends to go like I was four levels deep. Like I was going boom, 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 looking for people where they are above 225 and BV. And 225 being that magic number because you want the 125 on their primary account for Isobody, but even if their other family members never use the products to get that second account up to 100 BB. So pay attention. And, you know, Julie, I'll kind of use Shelly Schultz as an example. Like she's rocking it. I, I still want this girl to learn how to share. So hopefully she'll come there someday. But yeah. if, if she is the only one using it, but all of a sudden she pops up at 225 and more BV, have that conversation with her of, you know, hey, I know you still like Tastefully Simple, but if you enroll your husband and just order 125 under you and all the rest you're ordering under him, even though you're using the product, it's going to help you be able to get some money back. Right. And then she's one person away from sharing. I know. And the, the phrase I've been using with people is, I don't care, and I said this at the Sip and Sample Monday, I don't care whether anybody wants an additional stream of income, but I feel it's my obligation to help you get free food, because who doesn't want free food? And right. I think that yeah. comes across much simpler, and maybe for somebody like Shelly, where she's still married to Tastefully Simple, just the, hey, don't you at least want to get free food? You know, you don't have to do the business like me, but let's get you free food. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good approach. So do you guys have thoughts, comments around that, especially Rhonda, knowing you have a large team and you have some inactivity with some leaders or people under your leaders? Does that intimidate you? Are you comfortable reaching down like that? Do they, how do you get their, their information to contact them? I've been doing Facebook message. So most of, and some of them I'm actually friends with on Facebook. Um, others I'm not. So then I will send them a message, say, hey, I wanted to introduce myself. I am farther up in Rhonda's upline with Isogenics and wanted to let you know that I am here to offer any additional assistance. You know, and for somebody like you where you're already coaching, I would just say, I'm sure she's doing a great job with you. I just wanted to let you know I'm here for support too. And then I would end it with the, I really love helping people get free food or their products paid for. Let me know if that interests you. So most of it has been Facebook. Okay. All of it has been Facebook message. And if, um, if we start like with Lori, we kept going back and forth, back and forth. I'm like, Hey, can we talk? Is this, I can, you know, do this much better in person. And then she had, and so here's the thing too, seasoned consultant. I'm assuming she's been on ice journey. Cause, and then when I say seasoned, we're talking like four years, um, that wow. three to four, I'll call it. Um, I said, Hey, have you followed anything on this forever pack momentum? She's like, no, what's that? <laughs> So then I said, do you have time to talk? Because this will take a while. She's like, actually, I'm on my way out the door. And I'm like, great. Can you, I said, you have my number now. Can you call me this week and let's chat? And I said, I'm going to send you a couple of links. I'd like you to watch them and then let's have a conversation. So then I sent her the Forever Pack link and I sent her the Jill Birth link. And I said, the Jill Birth link is long. It's 90 minutes. At least watch the first 60. It'll be well worth your time and can't wait to tell you more about this. 
And so I'll give it a week. And if I haven't heard from her, I'll message her back like, hey, can we have that conversation? But again, when you look at this is somebody in my fourth PET with at least a couple of people above her that are in motion, she has no idea about the forever pack. So I've heard them talk about a, this a lot more at NYKO this year as they talked about drilling deep. You know, we are one team and, you know, I hope nobody ever takes it personally or feels like I'm stepping on their toes because I want to be there to help pick up slack where we can. And, you know, for her to cycle seven times and not know, and she goes, you know, I thought it was strange that I hadn't gotten an ISO wall at the last couple of weeks. Wow. But she not, I, I, I don't know, <laughs> didn't know who to reach out to, didn't know where to look. So kind of coming back to what you were saying, Julie, is we can't assume they know what they're doing, even if they've been around a while, even if they've already been a consultant. I think we need to dig down to some of these people. So I would encourage, because Rhonda, I think that could bring back a lot of momentum and life within your team, because you do have people who've been around for four or five years now. Yeah, yeah. I will do that. So awesome. Did you guys have any questions that you had for me or anything you wanted to chat about? Uh, not right now. Not right now. Okay. Awesome. Well, you guys have a fantastic day and we will chat next week. Oh, sounds great. One, Thank you. one more thing quickly. Sorry. Thank you. Oh. Um, so locally and a Facebook virtual event. So word has it, we're still looking a couple weeks out for isogenesis. So hopefully mid month they're calling it, but, um, my chiropractor who's in Lake in the Hills is going to have a sip and sample a week from tomorrow, which is April 11th at 7 PM. So Julie, if you want, have anybody you want to invite to that, okay. I decided I'm tired of waiting for isogenesis to come back in stock. We need to do a virtual event, whether we have it or not. So okay. with that one, my thoughts with that are to, you know how in the past we would do, I would do an opener, we'd all post our transformations over the next 20 minutes and then I'd come and close it. My thoughts with the virtual event for this are the two and three days before the event, we all put our transformations in. The night of the event, I open it. I'm gonna get the YouTube link and do the Forever Pack video because it'd be the same amount of time as if we were doing transformations for them to watch that. Then come back at 20 minutes later, close it out, tell them to get back in touch with the person who contacted them. So I am doing that on Tuesday, April 16th. That one, I don't have the event created, but that's on my to-do list for today. Um, I probably okay. won't send my invites out for another week because I think two weeks out, people forget about it. And then mm -hmm. locally, again, my mom has finally decided to hold a sip and sample and she lives in Woodstock. So if you have anybody out that way, it's going to be on Monday, the 22nd. Okay. And then obviously if you guys are doing sip and samples, let the team know and, um, and let us know. So I'm still playing with what the forever pack live event looks like. I actually think the virtual event is going to be even easier because we can just put our transformations at ahead of time, plug in the video and be done. I think it's going to be even easier than our old Facebook live events okay yeah so, that sounds good yeah so i will let you guys know when i have the event up and send you the invites so you guys can start inviting people as well awesome sounds good all right have a good afternoon thanks you too you too bye bye